as a result of the special theory of relativity, two important concepts were discovered, length contraction and time dilation. So let's look at the following example that deals with these two concepts. Suppose a spaceship just returned to Earth from a 10 year long voyage. So 10 years have passed on Earth since the voyage began. Now in part A, if the spaceship's velocity was 0.75 multiplied by C where C is the speed of light in a vacuum, how many years have elapsed? for the crew on that spaceship. So we basically want to apply the time dilation equation. So delta T is the time that has elapsed for the people on Earth. Delta T naught is the proper time. It's the time that has elapsed for the observer on that moving spaceship. And V is the velocity of that spaceship. So basically, we want to solve for this quantity. So let's rearrange and solve for delta T naught, the proper time. So the proper time is equal to delta T, the quantity of time that has elapsed on Earth, multiplied by the square root of 1 minus V squared divided by C squared. So delta T is given to be 10 years and V is equal to 0.75 C. So we square this quantity and notice the C's will cancel from top and bottom. So next, if we square 0.75, we get 0.5625. So 1 minus 0.5625 and then we square root that and multiply that by 10 years and we get that the proper time is equal to about 6.61 years. So basically, although 10 years have passed for the people on earth, only 6.61 years have passed on that spaceship. Now let's move on to part B. Now suppose that the spaceship has a length of 50 meters while it's stationary on earth. We want to find the velocity that is required to decrease the length of that ship from 50 meters to 10 meters. So basically, we want to take into consideration length contraction. So when our spaceship is stationary, it has a length of 50 meters. Now, when that spaceship is moving with some unknown velocity, that length contracts to 10 meters. So we're assuming that the velocity of our spaceship is in the same direction as the length of that spaceship. So basically, we want to apply the length contraction equation. So our contracted length L is equal to our initial length L naught multiplied by the square root of 1 minus V squared divided by C squared, where V is the velocity that we're looking for. So basically, we want to solve for V. So let's bring L naught to this side and take the square of both sides. We get the following result. Finally, if we take this equation and solve for V, we get the following equation. So V is equal to the square root of C squared multiplied by 1 minus L divided by L naught squared, where L is our 10 meter length, L naught is the 15 meter length, and C is the speed of light in a vacuum. So we plug in our values and we get about 2.94 times 10 to the 8 meters per second is the velocity of the spaceship that basically contracts the length of that spaceship from 50 meters to 10 meters. And this is about 0.98 multiplied by C. So this quantity represents 98% of the speed of light in a vacuum.